Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie and welcome back to Story Time with me. The book we're reading today is called The Wicked Big Toddler by Kevin Hooks. Do you know what a toddler is? A toddler is another way to call a baby. So this is the toddler we're talking about today. From the cover we can see that this toddler is very big. He's bigger than the boat and he's bigger than all these people. Let's see why this baby is so big. The new baby came on the snowiest day of the year. So here is the stork bringing the baby to his family. Do you know why we have a stork here? It's because there's a saying that storks are the birds that bring babies to their new families. When my brothers and I went to visit him in the hospital, he reached right out and grabbed hold of my finger. Uncle Bert whistled. That's a wicked big toddler you got there, Jesse. So everybody called him Toddy from then on. So the baby's hand is even bigger than his sister. The next day, Toddy came home from the hospital. I sat right next to him and held his hand. He was wearing a new hat mittens and booties that Mimi Newcomb had knitted for him. Every new baby gets a hat and booties from Mimi. It's a tradition. The baby is bigger than the truck. Isn't this baby gigantic? And what are all these people doing? They are pushing the baby onto the truck because he's so heavy. And he's wearing the new hat and booties and mittens that his granny made him. What season do you think it is? It's snowing outside so it is winter. It took Toddy a long time before he could sleep through the whole night. I played my fiddle to help calm him down. Even the special cradle Uncle Bert and Aunt Jo made for him didn't seem to help. So the baby's crying. He's like, eh, I don't want to sleep. So his sister is playing the fiddle. The fiddle is another way to call a violin. And everyone is rocking the baby, saying, go sleep, go sleep. Taking care of Toddy keeps everybody busy, especially when it's time to change your diaper. Phew! So it's time to change Toddy's diaper, and they have to use a crane. And look at everybody. They're wearing suits because it's very stinky. What else can you see on this page? Can you see here by the house what's happening? Many people came to see the baby get his diaper change. And there's so many people that the police had to come help. Once Toddy learned to sit up, taking baths was a lot of fun. He loves to play with boats. So now the baby's a bit bigger, he can go to the sea to take a bath. Where do you shower? In the sea? I don't think so. In the bathtub, right? But this baby is so large that he can't fit in the bathtub, so he has to go to the sea to take a bath. And look at him play with real boats, real big, normal-sized boats. What do you think these fishermen are saying? They're probably saying, let me down! When Toddy's first tooth came in, he started eating solids. Uncle Bert and I even let him have ice cream. Mama wasn't too happy about that. Now the baby can eat solid food and he's eating, he's not eating an ice cream, he's eating an ice cream truck. Do you like to eat ice cream? What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Mine is hmm, chocolate, I think. Toddy loves going camping. He likes to splash his toes in the lake and make his favorite animal sounds. Grrr, says the bear. Snort says the moose. How big is Toddy now? He is as big as the tree. He is enormous. When we go blueberry picking, Toddy likes to eat more than he picks. Babies are such messy eaters. The baby is eating the blueberries by the bucket. The baby is gobbling up blueberries. Can you pretend to gobble up blueberries? Rum, 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 rum. And look, even the bears are running away because they're scared that he's going to eat them. The baby is starting to grow teeth. How many teeth does he have? One, two. 
Raking leaves sure is fun with Toddy. Now that he's crawling, it's harder to keep track of him. So what season is it now? The leaves are red and yellow and orange. They're starting to fall down from the trees. It is autumn. Where is Toddy on this page? Can you find Toddy? Can you point him out? He is? Oh, he's here. He's camouflaged with the trees because his hair is the same color as the leaves now. When all the relatives came at Thanksgiving time, Toddy was so excited that he said hello in his biggest main voice. So he's speaking now, he's saying, hi, how are you? How many people can you see on this page? I'll give you 10 seconds to count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's count together. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 people. Did you remember to count the baby? And what are these people doing? This lady is running away with her soup and this grandma is so scared that she's running away and all her pies are flying in the air. Tuddy helped us put the lights up on the barn at holiday time and he took his first steps. It's snowing again, so it's winter again. A year has passed. On his first birthday, Tuddy got a special birthday cake. He blew out the candle all by himself, which surprised everyone. Toddy blew so hard that all the chocolate sauce flew out from the cake and covered his mommy and daddy. Toddy loves to be involved with everything, even making maple syrup in the spring mud season. He likes to take free samples now and then. That's a wicked big mess, says Uncle Bert. So it is now spring and they are making maple syrup. It's so sticky that everyone got stuck onto Toddy. Even Grandpa with his chair. Toddy's bedtime is Mama's favorite time of day. We all sing Toddy to sleep while Uncle Bert plays a soft lullaby. Once he's down for the night, Toddy sleeps like a log until it's wake up time. So look at his mom and dad. They have their eyes wide open because they're like, oh no, it's another day. The end. And that's the end of the book. I hope you like this story about the gigantic toddler, Toddy. I'll see you in the next video.